Well, hello. You ever do something really stupid? Well, that's me. I filmed two reviews, and I'm busy this time of year. It's the beginning of the school year. I have two new classes, plus several active extracurriculars I've never been in charge of before, so I have a lot less free time. I filmed two reviews, and I forgot to turn the microphone on. And the, so I'm going to film one of those reviews right now, now that I have a chance. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get on a more regular schedule, because it's hard for me to find time to do this. Well, the pen, pen I want to review today is one I never thought I would own. If you look back at my archives, you're going to find some unkind things in a review that I did of the Platinum 3776 Shoji. I didn't like that pen. I like it now. It's one that needed time to grow on me. I don't know, like fungus. <laughs> but I like it. It's a medium. So this year, I've been slowly buying a few more platinum pens. Uh, this is a Platinum 3776 Music Nib, which is kind of a unique nib. I, I reviewed, my very first review was actually a Music Nib. It was a Noodler's Nippon set. This is a different animal from the Noodler's Nippon set. Now this guy, like most music nibs, has a double slit nib. Uh, I imagine the feed has a double channel. I haven't taken it apart to look, but I believe it does. It uh, puts out a lot of ink. I like writing with this. It, it has a very stub character, but with more ink than most of my stubs. It's just much wetter. Is that the word I want? I think so. Uh, the plastic that it's made out of, I suppose with a pen this expensive, you're supposed to call it resin, but the plastic is a dark blue. It's called Chartres Blue, which is after a cathedral in France somewhere. Can't remember where. Maybe the Chartres Cathedral? I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, very nice. You don't notice it. Like in a lot of my writing samples, it's probably going to look black to you. But when I hold it up like this, there's a window that way in front of me. And that really shows off the beautiful blue color. So, double slit nib, inside, piston converter. I wish Platinum would make their own built-in converters, but it is what it is. When you write with these pens, Platinum pens tend to have a lot more feedback than other brands. I uh, don't mind that. I actually like the feedback because it's not scratchiness, it's just feedback. I like that. It's a good pen. Uh, would I buy it again? This was expensive. Now, I got it... A little bit less than what it's supposed to be sold for, uh, but it's still too expensive. I, in retrospect, I should not have spent that much money for a fountain pen, but I did. Uh, so let's talk about size. Size comparison. When you put it next to a Noodler's Conrad, capped, the Conrad is about an eighth of an inch longer. Uncapped, the Conrad's actually about half an inch longer. Posted, The Conrad is only about an eighth of an inch longer. So it's a nice size pen. Nice understated design. Nice to write with. Uh, wetter than a stub. So it's a different writing experience than using a stub, although you get the same kind of line variation. And uh, I'm about to do a writing sample. Now I filmed these writing samples several weeks ago when I filmed the audio for, I forgot to have the battery in the microphone. Uh, and, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I used a new document camera that I have for school. I'm still learning that bugger. I bought the thing, so I'm not using taxpayer dollars, don't worry. But uh, the microphone on that document camera is horrible. And we'll see if I like the writing, but I'll just warn you, the audio on this isn't the best. Well, this will be my first time recording a review with the new document camera that I purchased for my teaching, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did find out if I go to the high quality setting, it's extremely laggy. So we'll see what we can do. Well, this is the Platinum 3776, the Chartres Blue, whoops, Platinum 3776 with the music nib, by the way. Uh, music nib is designed to lay down a lot of ink, which uh, it does. <laughs> I mean, look at the shading there. Well, maybe you can't see it. But anywho, this uh, ink is one of my favorites. It's new. Wow, I'm just... Noodlers. Ottoman Azure. Uh, this is... Maybe you could call it my gateway drug into blue. I don't know. 
Uh, let's see. I know a uh, music nib is not really designed for flexing. I think the, uh, well, I know the Noodler's Nippon set one is. What makes a music nib nifty is it's good for writing notes. So I can go, well, that was terrible. I can make my staffs or whatever and then my round things. Uh, it's, okay, obviously not a musician here. But see, narrow line, ah. Uh, Narrow line, wider, if you're trying to write notes. And uh, it needs to be in the hands of somebody who's actually capable, which I would say is probably not me. Now I'm going to real quick just double check to make sure I am recording audio. Because I recorded once and I didn't have any audio. Well, heck. Let's just go with it. All right. So, anyway, lots of line variations, a lot like a stub nib, but more inky, because it has a double channel nib, which you already saw. All right, so I got bored with the quote I've been using, so let's go with a new quote. Uh, I see one really long one here. I, I like Werner Heisenberg. One of these days I'll have to tell you why. Uh, you know, I've got a paragraph long quote here, but oh, too weird, or too long. So let's go with this one. So, that gives you a good clue of the writing. Uh, a platinum nib tends to be somewhat... Wow, ew, you didn't even see that whole thing. There we go. A platinum nib seems, tends to be somewhat feedbacky compared to other types of nibs. I, uh, I don't see that as a fault. That's just the way they are. It's something you get used to. It's a uh, beautiful flow. It's just a nice writing experience. Now, worth the price... Good question, because I can get stub nibs for quite a lot less and get almost the same writing experience. So, uh, especially if I use a Noodler's with a stub nib from the Goulet's, that's a nice writing experience with lots of ink, and it's a lot cheaper. But I'm not sorry I bought this pen. I think the Chartres Blue finish is very attractive. I like the writing. I see it's a little messy because I'm recording this in the evening instead of in the morning when I usually record writing samples, but whatever. So... I thank you for watching. Oh, value. I've been asked about value a few times. Heck no. No pen is worth this much money. But I do enjoy it. So take, make out of that whatever you want. I, uh, I, if I destroy this one, I would probably replace it after I save for a few months. So we'll see you later.